and yet... What do you want them to do with their kids when they have to go to work? What do you want them to do? What do you want them to do? I want them to answer that freaking question. Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. In this episode, we have a video clip here of Anna Kasparian losing her crap, fully going irate on the Young Turks. As always, folks, if you want to join us here at the Bald Brad Show, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Share this link with your friends and family all over social media. With that being said, let's jump into it. We don't even have paid family leave. We don't even have affordable child care in this freaking country. Okay, and the people who fight against those kinds of laws are Republicans. And yet, what do you want them to do with their kids when they have to go to work? What do you want them to do? What do you want them to do? I want them to answer that freaking question. Answer the question. Journalists, ask them the question. Ask I'll, I'll answer this real quick once this video clip's done. I promise. It's a really, really easy question. It's a layup, folks. Ask them. Ask them. Isn't it amazing? God ask them the goddamn question. <laughs> God. A psycho. Isn't it amazing <laughs> that not one Democrat has shown one percent of the passion that Anna has today? They don't care. They They're don't fine. care. They're they don't fine. care. They're, They're all so old. They don't even have to worry about it affecting them. And if they're young enough where it would affect them, they'll get their abortion. They're going to okay? fly to they're Paris. They're trading individual stocks, enriching themselves. They're good. They're good. They don't care about you. Make sure you understand that and you feel it in your bones. They don't care about you at all. All of that fundraising, all of that canvassing, all of that hard work on the ground, they can't even get a voting rights bill passed. <laughs> They're losers. Trusha Briggs writes in, thank you, Anna, for communicating this momentous injustice and the rage we're all feeling today. <laughs> it's like it's as if he's talking about somebody that's been deceased thank you for bringing everybody uh for this momentous occasion where anna kasparian has lost her crap <laughs> it's so good but in regards to her question folks can we just replay back her losing it over republicans here for a moment it's that freaking question what do you want them to do what do you want them to do i want them to answer that freaking question what do I want them to do? Um, let's see. Again, this is a layup, folks. So she's saying that Republicans aren't willing to answer this question in terms of paid family leave, you know, child care, child support, all this stuff. Look, if you can't raise your own son or daughter, then you probably shouldn't have had sex and had that kid in the first place. <gasps> it's as if, you know, we're saying something that's just completely outrageous, you know, that you actually plan to have a child. If you didn't plan to have that child, then yes, you kind of have to suffer some sort of consequence here of, you know, hey, unfortunately, you're going to have to pay up the wazoo for child care. Not saying that I agree with that, but if you expect me as a taxpayer to pay for child support for a kid that I did not decide to have, that doesn't make sense to me. But we see this all the time with the left. We see this all the time with Democrats. We see this all the time from the Young Turks of having the taxpayer pay for somebody else's decision consistently we just did an episode where aoc and the democrats these socialists what they want to have is the taxpayer to pay for their student debts they're the ones that took it out and now they're complaining well i can't pay it off i'm gonna be in this debt for 10 20 years well yes you should have thought about that before you decided to go to college and take out that astronomical debt that again you chose to do not me but they expect to have these plumbers these tradesmen everybody else those that didn't even go to college they expect them to pay for their college degree when they never went to college themselves, they made a different route in their life. Hell, I paid off my student loans. I shouldn't have to pay for your student loans. And again, that's a side-by-side -side analogy with these people here that are complaining that I can't pay for my children. So what am I supposed to do? They can't answer the question. They can't answer the question. I just want them to answer the question. It's like, if you just remove the emotion for a second, we've answered this question for a long time. I didn't decide to have the kid, so I shouldn't have to pay for it. It's not like I'm sharing in some sort of community fund here of say like roadways where we all utilize the roads. If you're using public transit or you're using a car, it would make sense to pay in that because we're all utilizing that together. I didn't decide to have a kid. 
I didn't decide to, decide to be able to give life and then not be able to afford it. Like if I'm going to have a kid, I'm going to plan it out. This is a layup question, folks. This is easy, but they just start losing their minds over this Roe v. Wade stuff. And it just extrapolates into all these other things. And again, we're seeing TikTok video after TikTok video, all these posts from these leftists that are losing it over this SCOTUS, SCOTUS opinion that hasn't even been technically released yet. Yeah, it was leaked. But now they just have this anger flowing into all these other things, creating a spider web, and they can't rationalize because their emotions are so out of control that they can't use their heads. I mean, she's screaming on television here about something that's just easy to answer, as if we've never talked about this before, as if no journalist has ever asked a Republican. So here you go, Anna. You have a Republican sitting right here telling you, I don't have to pay for your son or daughter's child care because I'm not the one that took and had that child in the first place or took out a student loan. So with that being said, folks, as always, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Share this link with your friends and family all over social media. With that being said, I'll see you later here on The Bald Brat Show.